In this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 reasons why people are leaving Florida or are going to be leaving Florida based on my conversations with people who live here and also online research. So this is not reflective upon my own personal opinions. Now, I did a video like this about a year ago that was really popular, but a lot of people who watched the video were under the assumption that I didn't like living in Florida. And that's absolutely not the case. <laughs> I have been living here for about 11 years and can't imagine leaving anytime soon, if ever. But as a real estate agent, I wanna make sure that if you make the decision to move to Florida, it's more likely you're gonna be happy here because to move is a lot of effort, costs a lot of money, and this video is really about equipping you with information insights to really think about before you make a drastic move to decision. Before we get started, my name is Katrin Fitzsnoid. I'm a real estate agent in Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, Bradenton, and Venice. If you're looking to purchase or sell in the area, I would love to team up with you. Call me, email me anytime. I love hearing from all of you. And let's get right into this video. Number one is housing prices. It's gotten really expensive to live here in Florida, especially over the last two years where prior to COVID days, Florida was actually seen as extremely affordable to live in when it came to to purchasing a real estate property and making Florida life kind of a reality. That's not the case anymore. Price appreciated quite a bit over the last two years. Now, you could say that's the case across the United States, and that's true, but the price appreciation here was a bit more drastic than in many other places in the US. If you look at Redfin's data, as of November of last year, the median price came in at 391K, which is essentially on par with the US average. And that wasn't the case in the past. Florida was actually below the US average. And so many people who live in Florida who've been dreaming about purchasing a home, many of them unfortunately can't afford it anymore. And so they're gonna leave Florida to move to a place where they can make their dream come a reality. Number two is the home insurance crisis here in Florida. Home insurance is very expensive these days. My home insurance premiums essentially doubled in the last year and a half. And this is really felt by a lot of homeowners. Every time there's a hurricane, a natural disaster, premiums typically will go up. So it's based on disasters, but also fraud. There's a lot of roof fraud, especially, that's been going on over the last few years. With Hurricane Ian having just brushed through last year, we can expect prices to go up yet again. And I'm reading 30%, 50%, doubling. So if you're a homeowner that is used to paying, say, $2,000 on home insurance, and now all of a sudden it's $4,000 or $5,000, that can really eat into your budget. There are companies that have left Florida because to them it just wasn't profitable being here or companies that have gone bankrupt. So there's less choices also when it comes to home insurance companies. The Florida government is looking to ease the crisis that we have right now in the home insurance world. How they're going to do that, I don't know, but I'm sure there's gonna be so much coming on this subject alone. Number three is hurricanes. Before we talk about hurricanes specifically, it's important to know that natural disasters happen anywhere in the United States. The Northeast deals with snow, the cold waves. We just had one just a few weeks ago. Florida deals with hurricanes. Last year we had Hurricane Ian, which was one of the worst ones in the last few years. If you're somebody that has lost their home due to a hurricane, maybe your home got flooded, I can see that many of those people are gonna wanna move either to a safer flood zone or perhaps out of the state altogether. And I will say this about a hurricane that the tracking mechanism is pretty good. We know when a hurricane is coming. In California, for example, with earthquakes, you can't really tell until it's there and then well, you just hope for the best. I think there's ways to live in Florida and be much safer off. You could live more central Florida, living away from the shore. But even if you're closer to the shore, because many of us are gonna wanna live closer to the shore, there's ways of doing that while still mitigating the risk. And that is by, first of all, safeguarding your home. Get home insurance and flood insurance. Also, you could choose a flood zone that is less likely to flood, right? So flood zone X being the most preferred flood zone, you could also live further away from the shore. So instead of being right on the keys, maybe you wanna live five to 10 minutes away, also at a higher elevation. Number four is least affordable state. So according to many different articles out there, Florida is now considered the least affordable state to live in. 
I'm not referring to real estate per se because Florida is not the most expensive real estate market. What I'm referring to is the wages and the cost of living are not matching up right now. It's really expensive to live here for many people because the wages are relatively low. And so for many people, it's gonna make sense to leave Florida in order to afford a better lifestyle, to get more bang for the buck. Number five is politics. I would say that in the past, Florida was much more of a purple state. It seems to be turning more right. We have a lot of people who are moving here because of that from California, from New York, from Canada. Florida has become known as the freedom state and that was really driven by how the government managed COVID, especially during the early part of the pandemic in 2020 and 2021, where you had mask mandates and lockdowns in New York and California. It was much more open here. People were much more free to do and choose what they wanted to. It is very appealing to many people and that's the reason why they're moving here or staying here. But for those people who tend to be more liberal, many of them are gonna wanna move to a place that is much more in line with their belief system. Number six is the weather. You can't talk about Florida and not address the weather because it's so extreme here. And it's also the reason why many people will move here because of the warm weather year round. And the fact that you really won't be seeing a lot of snow around here if ever. Of course, it's going to depend on where you live in Florida, the further north you get, the colder it will get. But in general, Florida is going to be a very warm place to live in. Right now, I'm in Sarasota. It's January 14th and it's about 53 degrees during the day. Very sunny. That's actually really cold for us. So this is kind of a cold wave. Typically, this time of the year, it's going to be around 65 to maybe 7 degrees. The winters are the most beautiful time, in my opinion, to live in Florida. The summertime is where the issue is. Summers are very hot, humid, rainy, daily rain showers with lightning, and then you have the occasional hurricane during hurricane season. And so those people who move here because of the weather, many of them have vacation here in January and February during the best time of the year, weather related, and they underestimated what it's like to be here in the summertime. And so they move here for the weather and many of them will move back out because of the weather because they can't handle the heat, the rain and so forth. And so if you're somebody that's looking to move to Florida, just make sure you vacation here in the summertime. If you're okay with the weather, I'll bet you you're gonna absolutely love living here because of the weather. Number seven is critters and wildlife. We have a lot of critters here in Florida that you're gonna have to get used to. And there's lots of mosquitoes here in the summertime, especially because they breed on still standing water. And we have a lot of rain in the summertime. So that's typically when we'll see most of the mosquitoes. Gators in lakes, in every body of fresh water, there's going to be a gator. I live really close to a lake and I pretty much see gators every day. Look what I just found right there. I'm not gonna get close because that's a pretty big gator. But there it is, just chilling out. If you live in the heart of a city, say in Miami, or in downtown Sarasota, the likelihood of you seeing a coyote or gator are gonna be far less likely than living in a place where I live, which is 10 minutes away from the city in a much more suburban neighborhood where we have lakes and lots of trees around. So of course it's gonna depend on where you live, but for the most part, you will have to deal with mosquitoes. You're gonna to have to deal with Florida's roach which is the palmetto bug and it really doesn't matter how clean you are i have an exterminator that comes in every three months my house is really clean but somehow these palmetto bugs will make their way their way in especially in the summertime whether it's through cracks or because i left a sliding door open so when you see a palmetto bug you kind of know what to do and it's just part of Florida life. Many of us actually make peace with the ones that are just mm, not that great. We turn it into a positive and we appreciate being able to see animals such as dolphins and manatees in the wild. Every time I see a dolphin in the wild, it is just such a beautiful experience. And that's what I appreciate. Number eight is traffic. A lot of residents are getting discouraged by how the traffic has changed and how many people are moving in here because Florida has become so popular to move to. And many of them are talking about leaving the state to go somewhere with less people, less traffic. And I would say this, when it comes to traffic, it really is going to be dependent upon what you're used to and what you consider being bad traffic. I come from New York City, Manhattan. And so when people say traffic is really bad here in Sarasota, I would say, not to me, I've been stuck in traffic 
that would move for hours on end. Has traffic gotten worse in Sarasota? Absolutely, but it really isn't the worst case scenario for me. And so if you're looking to move to Florida, no matter where you move to, check the place out, of course, make sure you're gonna be happy there. And also check the traffic pattern throughout the different times of the day. Traffic is going to be very subjective based on what you consider to be good or bad traffic. Number nine is red tide. Every now and then we will have red tide on the southwest coastline. What red tide is, is when microscopic levels of algae multiply more than normal, which scientists will refer to as harmful algae bloom. With that comes a discoloration of water. There's you know, usually a bad smell in the air. And so if you go to a beach where there's red tide, it can be really irritating to your lungs, to your eyes. It can be deadly to fish if there's a really bad red tide and can result in what we call fish kill. Now, red tide doesn't always happen. It happens every few years or when there's been major weather pattern changes such as this last hurricane, Hurricane Ian, brought a little bit of red tide. As long as you don't live on the coast, you're gonna be fine. I live about 15, well, 10 to 15 minutes away from Siesta Key. And if there's bad red tide, I just don't go to the beach. Now, Fiesta Night lives right on the beach and you have no second home to go to when there's really bad red tide on the beach. I can see how that's discouraging. Number 10 is family and friends. A lot of people are gonna to wanna to be close to the people that they feel is their support system. And that goes for wanting to move to Florida. Lots of folks are gonna to wanna to move to Florida, not just because of the weather and the no state income tax, but for being closer to their parents, maybe brother and sister. But if their support network is leaving Florida, a lot of times they will leave as well because to them, these people who are really special in their lives are where home is. I absolutely love Florida and this video is not about discouraging anybody to move here but it is about making sure that if you move here, you're gonna love it just as much as I do. Now let me know, what do you love or not love about Florida? Leave a comment in the description section. And if you're interested in buying real estate in the Sarasota County region, I would love to assist you, help you. Call me, email me anytime. Thank you so much for watching today, especially until the very end. I always appreciate when you guys do. Take care.